Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we'll see exploring Microsoft Defender for Cloud. This, you might consider this as a beginner level or level 100 video, right? So in, in this video, we will do an exercise to understand Microsoft Defender for Cloud dashboard. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. You will go to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now on the overview section, uh, let it come up. So on the overview blade, note that it now provides a unified view into the security posture and include multiple independent cloud security pillars such as secure score, regulatory compliance, workload protection, firewall manager, inventory, information protection and insights. So each of these pillars, or I would say uh, the blocks also has its own dedicated dashboard allowing deeper insights and actions around that vertical. So it provides easy access and better visibility for security professionals. Will it take few hours for all the tiles on the overview page to update? So if you have made or uh, enabled the Microsoft Defender for Cloud few minutes ago that it would take time for every component to come into the groove, right? Now, if you note uh, the top menu bar, which allows to view and filter subscription by selecting the subscription button, here it is, right? If you have multiple subscription, you can select the subscription. In this, for my for my videos, I'm using only one subscription because I only have pay as you go, right? Now, if you will click on what's new, this will open up the latest release notes where you can stay current on the new features, bug fixes and more. You can go through the documentation of the latest changes and the features. Now, if you go back, you will see that the high level numbers at the top of the menu, this, uh, this view allows you to see a summary of your subscription, active recommendation, security alerts, alongside with connected cloud accounts. If you have uh, connected your AWS account or GCB projects, you can also see that here as well. Now, if you'll go here, you click on your Azure subscription. This will take you to the environment settings. If you want to come directly, not from there, you can click on environment settings here as well. It is going to do the same thing. Now, if you will go to the subscription on which you have enabled Defender for Cloud plans, now you'll see that this subscription is fully covered with all the plans enabled that we did in our last video. If you will go back to the overview of the Defender for Cloud. Now you see the secure score here as well. So it is your security posture. It is your regulatory compliance. And now if you click on the security posture under cloud security, you will see the secure score and the number of completed controls and the recommendations. And now if you will click on this tile, it will redirect to drill down to view across subscriptions. So these are the secure score recommendations, right? Uh, it is asking us to enable MFA, secure management ports, Remediate vulnerabilities, apply system updates, encrypt data in transit, manage access and permissions, remediate uh, security configurations, restrict unauthorized network access. So these are the, uh, the recommendations that my Defender for Cloud is giving me for all the resources because I've enabled all the plans for Defender for Cloud on this very subscription. 
right? And you can uh, download this CSV report with all the recommendations. You can, uh, it is the secure score. You can see all recommendation here as well. And you can download this CSV report as well. Now, if you click on the workload protection in the cloud security section, you can see the coverage of your connected uh, resources for the currently selected subscription and the recent alerts color coded by severity. Different of a cloud, 12 total, fully covered 100%, agent order is all 0%, not covered 0%. You see the alerts here, you click on uh, uh, any alert you want which is for I got one alert for medium severity VM vulnerability assessment just in time access these are under advanced protection and if you will click on regulatory compliance you can get insights into the compliance posture based on continuous assessment of your uh, Azure and if you have installed the agents you can get the regulatory compliance for your hybrid cloud environment as well. This style shows only four standards which are SOC TSP, ISO 27001, PCI DSS 3.2.1 and Azure CIS 1.1.0. There it is. You can click here and it will list down the compliance controls okay and if you will click on the uh, firewall manager I don't see firewall manager it will and it will cover the network security management as well I'm sorry, I'll need to go back here. And now when you click on inventory, you are provided with a view of your security poster across all your inventory, including defender coverage per resource, right? Resource name, how the monitoring agent is installed and how is your defender for cloud on or it is not on on all the resources now if you cancel this now let's explore uh, the security score now if you Click on here. Click on the secure score button. View recommendations. Sorry. Go to the overview blade. Click on view recommendations. And I told you, you can download that CSV report as well. Now, if you click on all recommendations and if you if you scroll down here, show all items. And if you pick out encrypt data in transit if you click on that see web application should only be should come for my storage account as well let me check it again transit only coming for this 
Now, if you click on the here, you see remediation steps, you see quick fix logic, right? If you see here, quick fix logic, automation remediation skip content, select the unhealthy resource, click to launch, quick fix remediation, see learn more. Now, if you select the unhealthy resource and click a fix button it will fix it so if you click on this unhealthy resource and you can change it here I don't know why it is not if you see the view policy definition user HTTPS resource if you can assign this policy so when you assign this policy it will change that uh, that my app service should only be accessible over HTTP, HTTPS if you would see the parameters this is what it is doing And you can do the remediation of this uh, resources as well right now if you want to explore the inventory capability if you click on the inventory here now you see the total resources are 11 and then the resources are 5 total number of resources are the ones which are connected to Microsoft Defender for Cloud and not the total number of resources you have in your subscription right now if you will notice the number of unhealthy resources 5 unmonitored resources unregistered subscription right if you will it will take you to the resource healthy log analytics agent should be installed on the virtual machine and it lists down all the things right and list the install application no data and these are the recommendations for my Linux virtual machine is the filter right you see the recommendation here click here you see this fix button click on fix and if you click on fix one resource it will install the log analytics agent on the virtual machine I hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day